today we are going to discuss uh, problem of uh, points on side waves okay so in this problem so we will be dealing with the side waves here so we will go with the question a point p is lying p is 30 mm in front of vp 40 mm above hp and 50 mm front from rpp okay so in this problem so as we have know so it involves three concept first to identify the quadrant so in front of VP, above HP means it is our first quadrant. So for the first quadrant, we know the notations. So VP, HP, XY. That means first we are going to draw the this <coughs> first quadrant, top view and front view. Okay. We know that 30 mm in front of VP means it is in front of VP means it is top V. So top V it is drawn in the HP plane. So 30, 30 means three boxes. And you put a point. So that is your the top V. Similarly, 40 mm above HP. So 40 mm above HP means it is our front V. It is four boxes. P dash. So now we'll show with the dimensions. This is forty mm, and this is thirty mm. Now you can see this 50 mm from RPP. This is what the side view. So it is exactly means in the quadrant. So you can see this. So this is our HP plane and this is vertical plane and this is our RPP right profile plane. So this right profile plane it is adjacent to the vertical uh, vertical plane. Okay. So in this problem he is mentioning that a point P is 30 mm. 30 mm in front of VP and 40 mm above HP and 50 mm from the RPP. So this it will be there adjacent to the vertical plane. Okay, when it is drawn in the orthographic, so it will be like this. Okay, so front view, top view, this front view connected with the side view. Okay, so that means for this RPP, we will be drawing a one another x1, y1 line at a distance of 50 mm. Okay. Now to draw this uh, side view with the top view, we will be using 45 degree angle line. Okay, so you just follow the procedure. Okay, now by from this projection point, we have to consider a distance of 50, that is 5 boxes. Keeping this distance of 5 boxes. Here, we are going to draw x1, y1 line because it is 50 mm from RPP. So this is X1, Y1, RPP, right profile plane. Okay. Now we know that so side view will be there adjacent to this front view. So we draw a straight line. After this, we know that we have to draw an 45 degree angle line here. Okay, in order to connect the top view with the side view. So that is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. So mark a point. Then draw a straight line. This is your angle line. That is 45 degree angle line. Now from this uh, top view, so you'll be drawing a straight line until it touches the 45 degree line. And then we project upward. Okay. So where these two lines are intersecting, so this point is our side view. Okay, this is what the same. and we can show the direction of the projection line. Okay, so this is what the side view. 